Hi guys! Um, so I'm here with a different kind of video today. Uh, a, f a while ago, about a month or so ago, I was contacted by a company named Firmu who provides really discounted prescription glasses. And they asked if I would like to receive a free pair of glasses to try and review for all of you out there. So um, I definitely wanted to do that. Um, I've always thought it would be cool to have another style of glasses so that I could switch it up a little bit. Um, but I wasn't sure if I would be doing that or if this would just be a whole new pair of glasses because it had been about, I would say more than two years since my last eye exam. So uh, I went and got my eyes checked and lo and behold my prescription has not changed at all. <laughs> the only thing that changed was one eye, the axis was slightly different, but my eye doctor assured me that that wouldn't really make any difference whatsoever. So, um, so anyways with my updated prescription which really hadn't changed at all since these glasses that I'm currently wearing. These are my old glasses. I'm going to reveal the new ones at the end of this video. Um, so I was like, okay, that's cool. So my prescription hasn't changed. So now this is an awesome opportunity to have two different frames so I can switch it up. So I was really excited to try it out. I was a little bit nervous or apprehensive, I'll be honest as well just because I'm so used to going into a store. I've always dealt with lens crafters um, who are quite pricey and I mean we get insurance through my husband Alex. His work provides insurance so every two years we can get $200 toward a new pair of glasses but Honestly, they're so expensive that we still have to pay at least $200 out of pocket uh, because the glasses will literally come out to like $400 sometimes, anywhere from like three to 400. So we're still paying quite a bit out of pocket for glasses. Um, well, me now, because my husband's got eye sur um, laser, LASIK eye surgery, so he doesn't have glasses anymore. But for me, anyways, um, it's still an expense every two years, especially, you know, like if your prescription changes and you gotta get new glasses, it is still expensive. But what's always been great about going into Lens Crafters is that you can try on everything in person and you can see everything and they do all these measurements and and adjustments and things like that in person. So I was a little bit nervous about trying online, but I thought I have nothing to lose. They're giving the, these to me for free. I'm gonna try it and see because their glasses are really, really inexpensive. Um, the ones that I ended up getting were about $22. And I think had I selected, um, because I was getting them free, they told me to select all of the options that were listed as free. The glasses I ended up getting, it's very basic stuff but if you wanted to get you know special coatings or things like that on your lenses then you pay a little bit but it's really not much so I would say like had I not picked the free options and gone with something a little more you know with more features or whatever I think it would have come out to like $50 total for a pair of glasses which to me is awesome so definitely their prices were the first thing I noticed they were really good prices. So then my whole thing was like, well, do you get what you pay for? They're cheap. Are they going to be cheap? I was kind of, again, apprehensive, but I decided to just go right into it. So the first thing I have to say before I even got to placing my order is that their customer service was on point, perfect. They responded to my emails quickly. If I had any questions about type of lenses or, you know, to do with my prescription and things like that, they answered very quickly. I would say within a day, they, they would usually get back to me, if not less than that. Um, so they always answered all my questions and, you know, if I had any concerns or wasn't sure how to do something, they were there to help. So that was great. Right off the bat, 
was very impressed with their customer service. So then I went to the website. So they provided me a link with what they called glasses for bloggers. So I believe those were the glasses that they were offering for YouTubers and bloggers and such to review. So I didn't venture past the link that they provided me of glasses to check out. So I don't know, there may have been, you know, a wider selection of glasses available had I just been a regular paying customer. But I will say this, from the page that they sent me, I had a lot of options to choose from. There was quite a few pages of glasses, I think three or four pages, if not more perhaps. Um, so it was a little overwhelming at first, as it is anytime you're going to get new glasses. I find even when I go in the store in person, it's like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what kind of style I'm looking for. I, I don't know. So I just kind of browsed through the glasses, kind of looking over everything. Um, and you know, you were able to go through all the different styles of glasses. And once you were interested in a pair, you could try it on. And the way that you do that is you take a photo of your face and you upload it to their website. And so once my photo was in there, I was able to click on any pair of glasses that I wanted to, and they showed me what they looked like on my face. Now, there was a few steps that I had to go through um, to do that. It wasn't just a simple upload the photo. You uploaded the photo, um, you had to put in your PD measurement, which is like the measurement between the middle of both of your pupils in millimeters, um, which I was really nervous about messing that up. Alex measured for me, but I was like, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope I'm not messing this up. Um, so I was really nervous about being off on that, but they did say that like you could be off by one to two millimeters and it wouldn't make much of a difference so it kind of put me a little bit at ease so we did that and then once you uploaded the photo you had to move these little circles into um, to make sure that they were aligned with your pupils so that that way the computer could generate the glasses onto your face appropriately because um, the first time I was kind of like off with the um, circles on the pupils and so when I went to try on the glasses on the picture the glasses were kind of like shifted to the side a little bit and so we went back in and kind of tweaked it and played around a little bit um, I had to do it about three times before I got it right in <laughs> the right spot and then the preview of the glasses on my face came up looking proper how they should. Um, so then once I, I got that, I was really excited and so started trying on all these glasses virtually and it was really cool. So it took me a while because I'm really picky and I really wanted to make sure I was gonna be happy with my selection so I took my time really went through everything and finally narrowed it down to four different glasses that I liked and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw I made a post asking for your opinions on which of the four glasses you liked um, and so Basically, a lot of you guys were toggling between number three and number four. Um, and I was sort of leaning towards one of those as well. So really what it boiled down to is the majority of people liked four. Alex really liked four. And I was kind of leaning toward four as well before I even posted it online. But I wasn't sure because they were a black frame, which I've never worn before. I've never done black frames. I tend to go for frames, as you can see with these ones, that are barely noticeable. <laughs> I like to go with really thin frames. I like to go with, 
you know, narrower kind of lenses. Um, I don't like huge glasses, like round ones or things like that. I don't, I don't like those. Um, and it's funny, like my very first pair of glasses that I got in high school, I had those frames for the longest time. I refused to get new ones after that. Like even when I needed a new prescription, I just kept the same frames and got new prescription lenses put in. Um, and they were really like an oval shape and very small. So I've always kind of gone more on the dainty side for glasses. So I decided to just kind of like step out of my comfort zone a little bit and try something different. So without further ado, I did end up going with the number four. Um, and originally with the number four, there was three different color options to choose from. And I originally was leaning towards all black, but then I kind of found when I was looking at the photos that the one that was all black made it appear a little bit of, like I know it wasn't a thicker frame, it was the exact same thickness, but because everything was black, I found that it made it stand out more black and Alex thought the same thing. So in the end, I ended up going with the black and white and I like that a lot better so anyways when it arrived it came in this little pouch that has the name Fermu on it global online optical store um it says your preferred online eyewear store one-on-one -on -one service save up to 90 percent so you take it out and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here so one thing that was really cool is something I've never had before with glasses. They send you a little keychain tool. So it's a little tiny screwdriver. There's some extra screws in there. So if you lose a screw in your glasses, um, they're all in there. There's, a, there's about, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six extra screws plus a little tiny screwdriver on a keychain so you could carry it with you in case you need it. So that was really awesome. And then there's also a user's guide. It says styles update every day. No more than $39. Please stay tuned. And the user's guide, it just gives you some tips when you're first wearing your glasses. Um, so it says to check the package carefully, make sure nothing's damaged and everything's come. It says if anything is um, broken or damaged, you can return it for a refund or exchange. Check you've received all glasses in the right models as ordered. Um, see, we also offer complimentary accessories, screws, screwdriver, um, cleaning cloth, glasses case, and no nose pads when applicable. Feeling a bit blurry or discomfort is normal after wearing a pair of new glasses. Please keep on wearing the glasses for three to five days. If you continue to experience discomfort after one week, please do not hesitate to contact us. If you feel extreme discomfort and or blurry vision after wearing the glasses, please double check your prescription first, then contact for further assistance. For return exchange, please write us your problem in detail so we can help you fix the problem and remake the new glasses right. And then it just gives you like uh, tips on how to care for your glasses so that, you know, they have longevity and stuff like that. So that was really cool. Um, and so they came in this really nice like sturdy case that has like a global kind of feel to it. It's got like the, you know, global map on there and stuff. And um, inside are the glasses, which I'll put on in one second. Um, and then as they said, inside of there is a nice little glass, um, glasses wipe cloth thingamajiggy to help you clean your glasses, which is always nice. So I'm gonna put on the glasses and we'll reveal them in a second. Okay guys, so here are my new glasses and I really like them. I will say one thing though, I think their try on feature is just a general idea because I personally feel like when I was looking at 
my photo of me wearing these glasses they did look not as like wide as this they were a little bit according to the picture they looked like they were not as wide basically they were a little bit smaller um, so when I put them on I was like kind of surprised they were a little bit wider than I expected but I don't mind them like I still like them Alex really likes them so I'm quite happy with them and I was a little nervous at first because when I first put them on I felt like things were a little off like things felt like they were kind of slanting or I kind of got like a dizzy feeling a little bit of a headache and I thought this shouldn't be happening if they're the exact same prescription as my old glasses so this was my old glasses and like I said they're the exact same prescription so I didn't understand why I was having that feeling like something was different or something was off so I did go to my lens crafters just to double check that my eye doctor was correct in that my prescription hadn't changed because I know lens crafters will always have my prescription on file. So they had my prescription that is on these frames and they were indeed exactly the same. Um, like, and she even pointed out, she goes, the only thing is that axis was off in one eye. It was like a little bit different, but just like my eye doctor said, she said, you wouldn't notice a difference. Like if you got this prescription filled on one of her frames here, you wouldn't notice a difference. So I thought, okay, I spoke to the people at Firmu. They suggested I just try wearing them. They said that I may still have to have like an adjustment period, even though they're the same prescriptions. Um, sometimes just having different frames will make things seem off for a little bit. So once I was like, you know, okay, they are definitely the same prescription because I was, that was the other thing was I had obviously wanted two different frames to switch back and forth between and I didn't want to be switching back and forth between two different prescriptions. So it was good that I got that double checked. So once I had that information in hand, I was like, okay, they're the same prescription. Nothing is going to, you know, happen. So what I did actually is I decided when I woke up one morning, I was just going to go straight for the new glasses. Um, as opposed to when I first got them, I had been wearing these all day and was switching to these. And that's maybe where things were a little weird. So I figured, well, I haven't worn these all night. I'm going to wake up and just put these straight on. And honestly, I didn't notice any different. There was no difference. They seemed completely fine to me. Um, I did have like a little bit of a headache for a couple of hours after first wearing them. And then that went away and it was just like wearing my old glasses. So um, definitely on point with the prescription. Everything worked out. Obviously, I did my measurements okay. And that worked out, so I was happy about that. And the lenses are just your standard single vision lenses. I think with the free options, I wasn't able to get anti-glare or anti-reflection. I would have had to pay for that myself. So I chose to just go without doing that because I didn't really have the money to do that. But honestly, I haven't really noticed the the like I haven't noticed really any reflections that's any different than my previous glasses so I have no complaints really with the glare it seems pretty standard everything is super crisp and clear uh in fact sometimes I think things are a little bit clearer with these glasses than my old glasses and that could just be because I've had these for so long. I've had these for like probably three or four years. So there's probably wear and tear on the lenses that kind of makes them not as clear. So these are definitely, I find they're a lot more crisp and my vision is just like, everything's really nice. So I am very happy with them. And I would have to say the only thing that I like about going into the store to get glasses is that once you get your glasses made, 
then they can do adjustments in the store. So like when I got these glasses or any glasses I've ever had, even when I got my prescription sunglasses at Lens Crafters, they're able to shape and adjust these, um, the parts that go around your ear just to make it like more fitted to you and a little bit more comfortable for you. And of course my old glasses have the little nose pads. These glasses, um, they just have like plastic here. This is the type that these don't have the nose pads available. So that's new for me. I haven't found them to be uncomfortable though. I found them to be fine. However, as you can see, the part that goes around your ear is definitely a lot straighter than the way that they rounded my old glasses. And there has been a little discomfort with that because they're kind of like digging into the bone that's on my head here <laughs> behind my ear. So I have considered going to my lens crafters just to see if they can make the adjustments for me. And I mean, even if I have to pay like a small fee for it, I don't mind. Um, because these were free and honestly like even if I had to pay for these with how cheap they were I still wouldn't mind paying that fee in store to get them adjusted so I am going to try doing that and see I mainly notice it on this side more so than this side but other than that like I have been really happy with them and I think it's an awesome company and you guys should definitely check it out if you need prescription glasses and are on a budget. Definitely go check it out because they're really, really affordable. And um, also for doing this video, Firmu is giving a coupon code for all of you guys out there that will be in the description box below. It is to get uh, buy one get one free so you can buy one pair of glasses and get one free and they're saying like your glass the first pair of glasses could be as low as $19 so for $19 you could get two pair of glasses which is awesome I mean where else can you get that price so I would say if you're on a budget if you you know if you don't have insurance that kind of stuff and you need glasses go check them out they have so many styles to choose from and it's very easy to follow and I'll say once I decided on this pair um, checkout was a breeze all I had to do was um, upload my prescription and uh, I mean you could manually enter your prescription numbers or you could just simply take a photo of your prescription and upload it which is what I did because then I feel like there's no errors on my part. I'm uploading an image of the prescription. So uploaded that, put all of my, you know, shipping information and all of that good stuff. Then obviously had to select, um, you know, single vision lenses. And of course, like I said, there was all different options of different types of lenses to choose from for myself. Um, you know, there's anywhere from single vision to bifocals and I don't know how bifocals would be because I've never worn bifocals. I've kind of heard hit and miss things about that because it's like two different types of lenses in one and that might leave room for like human error when you're doing it yourself. It's up to you, but definitely if you're like just getting glasses for reading or for distance, I see no problem with it. Uh, so yeah, there was all the different options that I could choose from. Obviously I went with whatever with all of the free options as you'll see. And, um, but there were definitely other options available had I wanted to pay for them. And they were all reasonably, reasonably priced. Some of them were as low as $5 to upgrade for whatever. So, yeah, um, it was a very easy checkup process and then once I selected all of my options and put in my shipping info, then I just put in um, payment info, which for me was just putting in a code to get everything free. Um, but obviously if you're paying, you put in like your credit card or whatever. 
And then that was it. It was done. And they gave me like a confirmation page and that was it. I just had to sit back and wait. And I think it took me, because I'm in Canada, it took me about a week and a bit to receive the glasses. So it was great. These are my new glasses. And I've never gone, like I said, I've never gone with black before, but they're black there and then the inside is white and then they have like these little white parts on the side. I think they're pretty cute. Alex really likes them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of my new glasses in the comments below. And if you are interested in purchasing some glasses from Fermu, do not forget to check the description box below this video for your coupon code to get buy one, get one free on glasses. I love the fact that I now have two different frames that I can switch between depending on my mood and what I, you know, want to look like that day. <laughs> or just like, it's great because then essentially I have backup pairs of glasses in case anything happens to one pair. So I think it's awesome. And I will say that now I've, now that I have adjusted to these new glasses, I have been able to switch back and forth between the two with no issues. So I was like, oh gosh, now that I've adjusted to these, if I put on my old ones, are they going to be weird? Like what these ones were when I first put them on. But no, they are not. So my eyes have basically adjusted to both pairs. So I know that I can definitely swap them out. One day I can wear one pair. Next day I can wear another pair. And it won't bother me. So I think that's really awesome and really great. So thank you so much Fermu for contacting me and giving me this opportunity. It's been wonderful. And yeah, I definitely highly recommend them if you're on a tight budget or you don't have insurance and go check them out. Fermu. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope you guys like my new glasses. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know what you think of them in the comments below. I know it's quite the difference between these and my old ones, um, but I do like them. I, I, it's kind of nice to have a change once in a while. So thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.